Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna be doing a review slash kind of second impression and a wear test of the new CoverGirl um, True Lynn Matte Mate Foundation in the shade D40. It is this bottle right here. Oops, too high. So this is the shade that I got. This is not my shade but this is the only shade that they have left that was close to my shade. Everything else was either too light or too dark. And if it is too light, which I know it is because I wore it yesterday, then I will use the NYX Custom um, Total Control Drops and just add a few drops of this to my foundation to make it do it before my skin tone. So I got the uh, shade D40. It claims to be a 12-hour wearing matte foundation. Um, it's supposed to be comfort matte, transfer resistant, oil-free. And that's all it says on the back of the bottle as far as what it is supposed to do. So like I said, I got the shade Deep 40, which is Deep Bronze. So I've already done my eyebrows. I've already put on my primer. I wore it yesterday. I'm going to talk about it as I'm applying it. So when... Um, I wore this yesterday I had to do yeah you can see it's not, not your girl tone I had to do two layers because it is a thin consistency the mirrors over here show the scene that's where I'm looking it's a thin consistency so it didn't cover in one pop like I would like it to have covered So I'm not going to add in those custom drops. I just did three pumps on the back of my hand. And I'm going to now apply that to my face. So I'm not going to add those custom drops because I don't want it to mess up the, the wear. Because it's supposed to be 12 hour wearing. And for the summer, I'm working in the summer camp. So we're going to be outside in the heat. I have to be working nine. I'm going to to six. It is now, I think it's like 8 o'clock. So I'm putting this on at 8 o'clock. I'm going to powder it and everything. And we'll see, we'll check in throughout the day. We'll see how matte I stay. If it starts to break up anywhere. Alright, so that's all I'm going to put on because I want it to be super heavy. Because like I said, I'm working in summer camp. And we're going to be going outside. Probably first thing this morning we'll do our outside stuff. Because... It's supposed to be, it's supposed to be upwards of like, I don't know, 80 degrees, 90 degrees today. Concealer to hide these. Oh, I wish I could say the Spanish word that Monica Stahl uses. She uses when she's talking about darkness. She's, what'd she say? Machangas, muchachas, or something. Muchachas, no, it's not muchachas. Manchas, or something, I don't know. Gosh, I wish I spoke Spanish. Okay, so we're going to be using concealer. So... We're in the foundation yesterday. It held up pretty well. I put it on around 7.30 yesterday. And I washed it off around 2 yesterday. So 7.30, 8.30, 9.30, 10.30, 11.30, 12.30, 1.30, 2. So we're looking about 6 and a half to 7 hours yesterday. So I didn't do it for the full wear time because when I got home from church, the girl washed it off and the girl was taking a nap. So I'm not going to put the makeup. And if I'm at home for the day, I'm not sleeping in. Makeup. I'm not keeping it on either, there's no point. Um, I didn't examine it thoroughly, but, I mean, from what I saw, it didn't look bad when I got ready to take it off. <clears throat> so I'm just going to set concealer. And then I'll set my face with my Mineralize Mar Skin Finish. Alright. Looking dusty. Okay. I'm going to 
sure that I'm not just flat. I'm going to do a little bit of contouring. I'm going to do the full shebang. I might not highlight though. I might just keep it. Hey guys, I'm checking in. First check in, it is 2.17. So I've had my foundation on since 8 o'clock. And just to remind you guys, this uh, foundation is supposed to be transfer proof, a comfortable mat, and it's supposed to last me for 12 hours. So I've had it on since 8 a.m. It is now uh, 2.16, so I've had it on for about 6 hours and some change, give or take. And... <clears throat> yeah this is what it's looking like so far so i'm not overly oily compared to how i usually am let's take the glasses off and see so normally when i do get oily i get oily here 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 um so you can see right there there's some oil production same thing on this side there's no highlight so if i touch my nose take it off you can see my fingers are a little bit shiny so it's starting to get oily. Um, I would typically be oilier than this by now. So it's holding up. Okay, you guys. So it is now 5.51. I got off work at 5.30. I'm in my, uh, at my house now in my driveway. And this is what it's looking like. So I've gotten a lot oilier. We've been outside again went outside again that afternoon so i got a lot order there mm. but as far as it's uh, no it's not really breaking up anywhere i don't see any visible on my chin a little bit it's breaking up around here it's kind of breaking up a little bit so it is breaking up a little bit so i wouldn't say that this is going to be a 12 hour wearing foundation um because i prime with the lasting primer i powdered i did not powder throughout the day i let it stay as is just to see how long it would wear with no powder no touch up so this is you know no powder i powdered this morning and this is what it's looking like on this side like i said it's breaking up a little bit on my chin but other than that it's Besides the spots where it's oily and where I get normal creasing, it stayed pretty well. But I wouldn't go as far as to claim it being a 12-hour 
foundation. So those are my final thoughts on it. Would I buy it again? Um, no. Am I going to finish using it? I don't think so. I think I'm going to return it because I really just don't like the consistency of it. It's way too watery of a foundation. Mm -hmm.